Hey, this is Derek from Old Dog Coaching and Physiotherapy. Joining me today, I've got our physiotherapist extraordinaire, Charlie. And joining us today, renowned sports nutritionist, Craig. Hey, Craig, how you doing? Good, man. Good. So, I'm doing really good, thanks. So, we brought in Craig today uh, just to have a really, really quick dis discussion. And, and, Craig, let's talk a little bit today about fats. Now, fats aren't the dirty word that they used to be. How beneficial is our implementing our diet with fat? I mean, I think. A lot of people out there that fat makes you fat and fat yeah. clogs your arteries. Yeah. It's still around today. Mm -hmm. um, you've got the food pyramid, and we're still teaching kids today that fat and now sugar are together. Yes. So a cream bun and olive oil are the same thing, and this is just garbage. Yeah, it's just garbage. Now, we do have some bad fats. Obviously, Definitely. all the vegetables and fried foods and all that, mm -hmm. but the body needs real fat. Fat that wasn't made in a factory, fat that was made by nature. From saturated fats, which the artery cloggers like coconut oil is 90% saturated. Well, and here in Thailand, there's an abundance of coconut oil. So, what are some of the benefits of implementing coconut oil into my diet? I mean, I, I use it every day. Oh, so I so have a couple of tablespoons. Yeah. And in terms of what it does mm -hmm. specifically, well, it has part of what's called a medium chain triglyceride, which will mean it'll actually be a great energy source. Um, and also, fats, people forget. Hormones are made from fat. It's very you want to increase your testosterone, eat more fat. You want to you want to balance out uh, estrogen, progesterone. You want the stress hormone cortisol. You need to eat more fat. Okay. That's a great energy source. How are the how are fats also good for reducing inflammation in the body? Clear. Most people have heard of omega threes. Yes. Yeah, so we know fish, flaxseed, and and particularly the seafood is the great omega three. Mm -hmm. While well, a lot of people are getting these omega sixes too many of them, mm -hmm. especially from the vegetables, the seed oils. And so what we're seeing today is when it used to be a one to one ratio or maybe a one to three ratio of omega three to omega six, we're seeing one omega three to sometimes twenty omega six or fifty mm -hmm. omega six. It's putting our bodies on fire. Right. And so obviously to put out those flames is taking fish oil, getting things like that. But you've got other foods that have other properties like avocados, olives, all that, that have anti-inflammatory properties. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they should also be included in the diet. So there you have it from Craig. Uh, fats aren't necessarily a bad thing. We should not be scared of them. We shouldn't Absolutely. avoid them from the plague. One of the things that actually surprises a lot of clients when I talk to them is I tell them that I regularly add butter to my diet. And I'm a huge proponent of eating butter, as I'm well aware. Sure, yeah, love it. yeah, love it as well. Hey, this is Derek from Old Dog Coaching. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic.